Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be doing an unboxing of the Rosex The Lone Hunter Predator, a 1 6 scale or a 1 5 scale resin model kit by Naren Studio. Um, I ordered two Predators from Naren uh, the Rosex and the Savage Revgun. Uh, they came in one box, so I kind of had to uh, figure out which part goes where. Uh, so I'll be cutting this video in segments so that uh, you'll see a video on the Rosex and a separate video on the uh, Savage Revgun. Uh, two amazing, amazing model kits. I think for these two pieces, uh, Naren really outdid himself on the quality, on the detail. The scale is absolutely amazing. They're advertised as 1 6 scale, but uh, they're more 1 5th scale. Uh, they, they are comparable to the, um, the King Skull Valdez, which I did uh, a few videos back. And uh, I'll be happy to, to show you guys uh, the unboxing process. Uh, the quality of the parts, the quality of the kit as a whole, and uh, hopefully I'll do a, a series on them, on how to build uh, this model kit by, you know, showing you the process of the pinning, uh, and then hopefully at some point I'll be able to uh, to pick up the painting process as well and share that with you guys. Uh, for this video, the unboxing video. Um, like I said, I'll be cutting it down into, um, you know, more, more digestible uh, video content for the people on YouTube. Uh, so that it's a more uh, fluid kind of video to look at because these unboxing videos can drag out a little bit. Uh, so to make it a little more interesting for the guys on YouTube, I'll be, uh, I'll be cutting it down. Uh, but... Hopefully you won't miss anything. You'll be able to enjoy all the parts that I unbox and kind of show you guys uh, the quality of the parts, uh, how they fit together. Uh, and then in the, the second part, uh, I'll hopefully uh, be able to build the model um, and take you through the entire pinning process, go through the, uh, the model and, and see see it in its full glory basically so um sit back enjoy the ride and hopefully i can entertain you a little bit and and hopefully you'll be able to enjoy these uh these model kits as much as i do just by looking at the uh, upper body pieces um, i'm already very very impressed so uh without further ado let's continue on to the unboxing Oh jeez, oh my god, this looks fucking amazing. This is the body from the other Predator. This is likely going to be one of my favorite statues. I've seen the entire statue on, on photos, obviously. It's... The, the, the quality just... The quality is just amazing. The camera needs to focus. There we go. That detail is insane. So we're going to continue with this guy. And we already had a few parts. I'm actually looking for the head. He actually comes with two heads, I believe. One masked and one unmasked. So that's pretty cool. I kind of like both. The, the mask is pretty cool. A unique design. And then his unmasked portrait is also very unique. This one, this one is called uh, Rosex. Uh, from what? from the photos I've seen from paint ups by other painters I've I, th I think this is going to be one of my favorite, f 
favorite statues that I've, I have so far. Oh yeah, this is one of his heads. He also looks like a really mean predator. Yeah. From the photos I've seen, man. I, I really think that this is going to be one of my favorites. Just the way that he's... He's got this walking pose, like... Coming, coming, slowly coming for you. And then... The mandibles just make him, like... I don't know, there's something about that design. Like, his, his head sculpt is... Really cool. It's just something about him I really, really like. I like how he's got a scar on his eye. And you can actually see the scar that damaged his eye. So it's, it's actually, it took out his eye. So he's blind in one eye. And this is the type of um the dreadlocks the type of dreadlocks i haven't seen before in a uh in a naren sculpt so i'm kind of wondering how that's going to to end up looking we'll see we'll get there eventually oh this is the extra head stand for when you want to display the extra head. That's pretty cool. Like that. If you have him displayed masked. You can put the other one next to it. Which is pretty cool. I really like that. I wish all all of the Naren sculpts. Would come with a, an extra headpiece, masked and unmasked, and then have like a uh, a separate headstand. And then this must be his other head. Must be. Oh yeah, his mask is amazing. Yeah man, energy drink all the way man. Red Bull all the way. Man, his mask is so awesome. That looks amazing. I don't know which one I'm gonna gonna find better, like the unmasked or the mask, because the mask is so unique. The mask also has like this really angry, angry look to it, which I really like. I like my predators to be, you know, aggressive. And there are a lot of parts in there, man. There's still a lot of parts in there. Yeah, I like the detail, the sculpted detail into his mask. Yeah. I like, I like, 
I like that as well. The side of his head. I uh, like the battle damage on it. Like it's been used in battle. He's been hit a couple of times. And this, these are his, this is his waist and his upper body. I mean, the skin work on the entire model is amazing. Speaking of skin work, man, look at that. That is insane, man. Man, that is... Oh. And then these trophies... Go here. These are big, man. Big skulls. I like the size of my finger. And there's, a, again, something that goes here. I wonder what that is. And he's also big, man. Damn. Oh, I got my work cut out for me, at least, when I get back from vacation. Jeez. I wonder what this is. Oh, wait a sec. Those are his dreadlocks. This is new. It's a new way of putting dreadlocks on predators. I haven't seen him do this before. So this is kind of maybe a new technique that he wanted to try with the sculpting or... Hey, you cheered 10 bits. You, you know that I have no idea what it does. <laughs> I have no idea what the bits, how it works. I, kn I know you can do something with it, but I have no idea. Like, you know, I, I have no idea. No idea. I just recently started Twitch streaming like two, three months ago, maybe. Or nah, less, less than that. That's, this is new. This is, um, normally what Naren does is he sculpts his dreadlocks into the sculpture already. But I've, I've never seen him do, do that. Okay, so this is the same part, that's for this head, okay, interesting, 
Oh wow, Jesus. This is gonna be fun. Oh, damn, that's nice. So this goes like that. And then interesting new technique for the for the dreadlocks. Normally they come either fully sculpted or they're completely separate. So then you have to put in each in uh, each dread individually. I did a video on that. That's on YouTube. Uh, this is this is something completely new, but I it's not necessarily. I kind of like it though. So it's it's something in between. It's sculpted and separate at the same time. So yeah, I like this. Nothing against it. All right, let me check. Uh, this is the base. That's some uh, crazy, uh, it almost looks like work, man. I wish it were. Okay, that's interesting. Oh my god, there's a skull there. I like it so far, yeah, I really like it. So. Let's, uh, no, let's put it safely here. So we're gonna go over all the parts in a second. Um, this is one leg, from what I can tell. Let's compare this to the other predator, which is, it's the same scale, but this is, this predator is a little bit bigger, I would say. This is a little bit chunkier. All right. Um, yeah, I was comparing. So these are the same scale. You can definitely see that. The scale is the same, but I would say that this predator is a little bit more chunky, a little bit, you know, bigger built, but it's close. I wouldn't necessarily, it's, it's, it's close if you compare the upper legs. So he's a little bit more muscular, I would say. But if you put the upper bodies together, uh, he definitely has like bigger, bigger chest muscles, but he's also he more heavily armored. So I would say that his armor plays like a big part in his chunkiness, I would say. But it's close, man. It's definitely the same scale. And it's kind of like, I, I, I kind of like how they're the same scale, but they're like built differently. So they have a different body type. 
So if you put them together, you're not just looking at like uh, the same body with a different face. You're you're really looking at a unique looking predator. Amazing statue as well. Exactly. Holy crap. Look at again with the amazing hand detail. Come on. Again with like leather straps and But again with like super detailed leather strapping and like on top of that there's armor. And then with the battle damaged armor, scratches and stuff like that. Oh yeah. But if we take like, for example, the other arm, yeah, they're definitely the same size. Yeah. I say you guys, but it's probably just Kenneth and me. <laughs> Everybody else has left or fallen asleep. Uh, the, other, the other foot. Okay, so I... Again, with the, with the same kind of armor. I kind of like it. For this predator, it's, it, it looks awesome when he's got like the same type of armor on each, on each uh, leg. Uh, he's got to be big, man. Like, damn. Oh, look at that, how big he's going to be. That's Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm starting to understand why the prices are going up a little bit over the last few, last two years or so. Like these statues become a lot more detailed they become bigger holy shit this is an alien skull oh damn i forgot about that I think you could put it on the base or something. There was something about that. I I'll need to watch for um, watch some uh, reference photos, but that looks fucking amazing. Like I, I, yeah, this is his other arm. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a while to uh, to assemble him completely. But I have some time left, so uh, we can easily start putting some pins into the model. And try and uh, put him together. So his other arm, he's holding a weapon. And I think that's this last piece. But here you can see he's wearing different armor on each arm. Kinda, kinda dig that as well. Again with the battle damage, which I really like. Let's do the final piece.
Man. Holy crap. Holy shit. What? Wait a second. So he's got a spear. This is the final piece. I was getting worried. I was like, hey, I'm, I'm missing a hand. I'm missing a hand, but it's here. I'm just, again, I'm a dumbass sometimes. So here's his hand. Holy crap. Damn, man. Look at that skin detail, man. That's insane. So, he's got this. Which goes... Now I know why... That... That's there. So, he's got like an extra weapon. That's kind of cool. He's got an extra weapon right here. And he's got the spear. Oh wow. He actually... Naren actually... Made the pegs different so that... They only go one way. That's cool. Holy shit, man! That being that thing's big, man. L look at that. Jesus Christ! Man, that that is big. Holy crap. Again with... So I, I really like... The battle damage on his armor, his weapons. So you can really see that it's been used in battle. He's been using them for a long time. Like I said, man, like the armor and the weapons, they, they tell the story. Like they, they, they tell you that he's been hunting for a long time. Like, their entire thing is that they take trophies and they they mark themselves with, like, the blood of their kill. And stuff. So, you know, they, they want to be damaged. They want to have, like, proof of battle, basically, on their, on their, uh, on their body. So, I don't think he's going to stand up without pegs, but we'll see. Don't think uh, he's stable enough to just stand on his own, but we'll see. We're just going to remove all of these pieces. Okay, so this foot goes here. And then the other one goes there. Now normally these are perfectly balanced. And Naren pieces don't have to be supported. Now, uh, you know, the, the museum pose sculpts don't have to be supported. But this is a slightly different situation. But, uh... So... He should be like this.
should be like that. And then his upper body. He's slightly tilted. He's slightly in a pose like he's turning. Holy crap, man, what the... This was supposed to be one six scale, but this is way bigger. And then his head. It's, it's way bigger than one six scale, man. Okay, these need to be pinned. They're never going to be held in place. Yeah, need th those need to be pinned. Oh, that's that's easy. We're going to fix that tonight. We're going to do that. I I'm I'm still kind of mixed on whether he should have like the skull on his back. Or if you should have like the backpack. I think I'm going to go with the backpack. And then have this like sit on. Like the base like that. And then. Have the base. Be a little bit more interesting of a scene. Where we have like a skull here and a skull there. I think I'm going to go with this. And then like have his technology backpack on. But it's going to be tough to decide whether or not I should go for the masked head or the um, with the mandibles. Because they're both so fucking amazing awesome but you know you ha always have like your secondary display which is really really cool i really like that it comes with a separate headstand okay so we did Ruzex. Ruzex is his name the lone hunter i really like i really like this i think this this is going to be one of my favorite statues Right, right. Um, this was uh, part one where we unboxed the Ruzex, the Lone Hunter Predator resin model kit by Naren Studios. Uh, we will be doing a part two in which we will be pinning the model and trying to construct him so that we uh, can display him, review him. Uh, go over all the parts and the details in the sculpt. Um, it will probably be two separate parts for the pinning because it's a big model. Uh, it's a lot of work, uh, but exciting nonetheless. So uh, if you guys will bear with me, support me, watch the videos. If you like the statue, if you... Uh, you know, if you were still hesitant to uh, to buy him, uh, he is worth every every penny. It's bigger than I expected. Uh, photos do not do the statue justice. Uh, he 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 is just a lot bigger than I I expected, and uh, he's beautiful. So uh, stay tuned for part two, where we will we will be assembling him, pinning the model. Uh, like we've did uh, with our other models. Um, at least get him like uh, display ready, basically. I um, want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for part two and part three. And uh, I'll see you soon.